Okay, everything's ready to go. <clears throat> Alrighty, so... Welcome back to uh, Mother 3, Session 3 this is all together. Today we'll be taking care of mostly Chapter 4 and a few other things. By a few things I mean maybe an extra hidden thing hidden in Chapter 5 start. However, since we went offline I've been a very busy boy. We have now gone from level 12 to level 58 thanks to the Black Beanling exploit I demonstrated at the very end of last session. It took a good maybe 3-4 hours to do, but worth every penny I say. But more importantly, I specifically geared us to level 58. Why? We now have all of our PSI abilities, bar the offensive stuff. So now we can heal everyone all the way up to max. We've got Refresh, which is the final one he unlocks, which is basically a I think it's maybe 10% HP every turn. We can heal any status ailments. We've got ways to counter physical and magic moves. Ways to buff ourselves if necessary. Here we are, they're down here at the bottom. Offense and defense up. Counter shields. That's about the long and short of it. I also have just failed to mention, I've got a new weapon for Mark called the Good Stick. Now why is that important? That is a 3% drop from an enemy called, I think it's a Squawking Stick. We walked past it inside the train tunnel on the way to Ionia at the start of chapter four. And we got it on the second or third one, I think. Stupid amount of luck, basically. So now we are going to go and wrap up chapter four. Since we are now at end game levels, it's not going to take us very long. But I am hearing some sounds, which indicates to me we've got a little something we need to take care of. And the easiest way to take care of that is to go back to good old Thomas's Bazaar. All right, nerd, give me what I want. We are selling. Don't need that anymore. Keep the beef jerky, the peculiar cheese, the Pisces bracelet. Uh, we've already got one. Yeah, we'll sell that anyway. Hot spring egg, we'll keep. Chicken, that's going. 200. Got another one from the Slivering Hens. I'll have that as well. Bread roll. Stop that. Yeah, I think that'll do us. You got anything on you? No. Uh, can we get Sol anything here? No. Alright, cool. Onwards to progress. You alright, Flip? Right, so now we'll go back through the tunnel and head straight onwards. How did the grinding go? Um, you tell me. <laughs> Three, four hours later. Yeah, you know what's even better? All the PSI abilities unlocked bar certain scripted events. So now we can just kick back, relax, and just coast through the actual interesting bit. Great. That's all we have to do, really. It's just see that little thing that's no, oh, you son of a. Ah, all right, fine. Wow, one HP, boys. Thank you. Remember we were only doing like twelve or nine damage, and now we're doing nearly two hundred casually. But yeah, this is the enemy you want if you're going for the good stick, the squawking stick. Bye-bye. How much DP did we make? Absolutely bugger all. We have maybe a thousand to our name. Black Beanling only does experience, not cash. Now there is an enemy we can try and find for a stupid amount of money. But whether we'll get it or not, we'll have to wait and see. Because that's not until next chapter. Ah, 
Oh, there was a butterfly in there. Hmm. Or oh, there might have been something like a dry bread roll or something. Nothing can stop you for a while. A while. A lot of honey. The level we're at now are end game levels. Nothing can stop us now. So that was the mushroom. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I didn't. Oh. Oh! I don't know how common that is, but we're going to want that for later. We'll save that for the next chapter. Right, can I get you a back sprite? Only two to four. Four tops. Just do the black beanling exploit I did. I figured out why you kept killing me. You're supposed to spam your PSI signature ability alpha level three times. All you have to do then is just hope you can survive the first PK fire alpha or beta and away you go. Oh wow, a second biscuit. Don't mind if I do. Please don't write graffiti on signs like hot dog or dog food. Gonna get ya! Ah, oh, nice one, Sparrow. Good teamwork. Yeah, you only need to do it once. Once you've done it once, that's it. You'll gain 13, 14 levels. It took, the first one took us from 12 to 25. Then after that, you can just go and heal and then rinse, wash, repeat. And because you do it just once, all of the casual enemies that'll be around you, you can just run, run right through and one hit kill them. Which is great, because that saves even more time. So we'll go across the sea bridge here. Sprinting bomb. Cool, free money. Oh, you have something I want. Gimme. Did they just casually run away? Yes, they did. Where are you? Come here, wee man. No, they don't want to play. Pity. What? And that kid is why you don't play on train tracks. Wow, we nearly made it all the way to the end before that happens. Usually it happens much earlier. Oh, that enemy might give us trouble. We are increasing the number of cattle snakes. They're extremely dangerous. If you see one, stay the hell away. View from a distance only. The Chimera Laboratory. Dangerous, huh? Sure about that? Okay, yeah, we weren't meant to fight those things for a little while. But yeah, one black bean link killed is 16,080 experience points. Flea powder. Alright, we can keep that for Soul in case he gets a, his unique status condition of fleas. Okay, cool, we can just casually one shot. I was expecting it to be at least a two hit. Next victim, please. Damn it, it's the common drop. The stick's just another joke, I mean, some you can equip. But if you get lucky and get the 3% drop, you'll get the good stick, which can last you till maybe. Chapter 7, maybe? Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. Damn it. Oh well. Free cash is free cash. And here you have bread roll. Sure, I'll take it. Hey, sir. It's 50 DP per person for factory workers. For everyone else, a ticket to the crossroad station is fucking how much? Uh, yes. Fuck you, then. And I suggest you start walking to the grave, you wee cheeky head dick. 
Ah, hey, ton of fun. I'm not slacking off at all. I'm sort of like, you know, keeping an eye out for people who are slacking off. Yeah, that's right. What are you smoking about? I don't know. Maybe they need to put a sign around you. Caution, wide load. Oh, hey there. Working in the factory isn't easy, but you do get free tickets to Club Tiddy Boo out of it. So it's not all bad. Alright. This is a vending machine. Wanna use it? Yeah, sure. Fizzy soda, beef jerky, antidote, paper fan, eye drops, flea powder, nothing worthwhile. Alright, let's get in here. Oh, it's Isaac. Oh, hey there! Are you here at the factory for something? If you feel like working, I'm sure they'll hire you. Yay, underage minimum wage work, I guess. Hey, you suspicious fellow, what are you doing here? What's that? You want to go to Club Titty Boo? That's a special place for workers here to go and relax, to leave their uh, daily exhaustion. It's not for people who don't work here. If you absolutely have to go there, then it's simple. Just do some part-time work here. What do you say? You up for some part-time work? Ugh, fine. Yeah? Then that makes things easy. The job is to transport claimant. First of all, go all the way inside. You'll find a ladder there. Go down it. You'll find a bunch of claimant in the area below. Some of them will be almost out of energy, so you got to bring them back up here. Bring them one at a time. After you've bought three up, you're done. Just to be safe, I'll give you the sketch of how the factory's laid out. Yeah. Oh, and sign your name on this document. No, no, not your name. I mean, you know, the name of... The person in the background. The person pulling the strings, I mean, you could say. What I mean to say is... The, 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 the player's name. I, I just need for verification, but it's not too, not too important, you know how it is. Anyway, if you could do that, that would help out a lot. Great. Experiment T. Is that your correct name? Experiment T. Alright, got it. I'll add to our records. Now listen. Don't do anything too bad, because I'll only inconvenience him. So don't forget it. Alright then. Work hard. Hold on, dog. Dogs have dog things to keep them busy. Dog, go on ahead and do what the boss dog says. Don't you I know. Don't you worry, we'll be back for you in a jiffy. The claim and low on energy are very weak, so you'll know which ones are right away. Alright, hop to it. Ooh, um... Guess the warranty ain't too good on him. Nephew, what's working down below? They're digging up clay to make clay man I love. Well, I mean... <laughs> but we zap clay man low on energy here, they start moving again. Yeah, these machines always seem to invite you to use them. But you can't touch them. I mean, people can touch them or else they'll get zapped something fierce. I've never touched them, of course. But I really want to. Ignore the urges. <laughs> Ignore the urges. Oh, it's Jonal. Oh, hey there. Did you come to see me? Oh, you didn't. I see. I was ace. Same as always. I see. The new guy with the dark fur is so annoying. It's like, just shut up and work, will you? Oh, it's nice to exercise once in a while. Because doing all that running through the tunnel wasn't. One of these is not like the other. Um, ah, well. Yeah, we'll get in. You never say no to a free heal. You're fully revitalized. Alright, where's my access ladder? Hey, part timer! I use this lift to send low energy claimant up to the ground floor, so just bring one here and talk to me. Alright, so the first one shouldn't be too far away. Where are you hiding? Oh, he must be all the way at the far back. There he is. Poor thing, looks like he's had a stroke. Is there anything down there? Because I usually... You want to go to Club Tiddy Boo? That's what the ropeway behind the factory's for. You can go straight there by going up it. Uh, if you think about climbing up the cliff instead, forget about it. Yeah, crap. I screwed up big time and broke this clay man. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to haul this to the left to carry it to the entrance. Yeah, looks like I'm stuck doing overtime today. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, is that you? Or are you someone else? I never imagined you of all people would ever take the roadway up to visit Club Titty Boo. You are Mark, right? Once a day, I just have to finish work so I can go to Club Titty Boo. Then I can see Violet in all her hotness. <laughs> Fucking creep. Who are you? Oi. Oi! Well, this factory's for digging up clay, but I hear it has one other secret purpose. I don't know if it's true or not, but they say there's an insanely huge dragon buried underground. Supposedly it's bigger than this whole island. Yeah, right. Gotta be kidding me. Dragons underground. Honestly, what do you think this is, Pokemon? Alright, so we have to do a very basic escort mission. Just try not to get it stuck in the corner. I mean, mercifully, it's not too slow, but if you're doing this on an emulator, um, I'd say this is a perfect time to use and abuse the speed up function. I'm trying to think what this music track reminds me of, and it is just escaping me today. Etchip, get you. Get your sorry ass up here, boyo. Okay, 90 degrees east. Warning, large clay man reversing. Get in there. Don't you get in the way. Here's what I bloody thought, bucko. Give me any sass and you'll join them. Alrighty. Here you go. Oh, brought one already, have you? Alright, hold on a sec. Oh, we have to actually do the song and dance. All right. Yeah, right, son. How's that work out going for you? Hold on, excuse me. Pardon me. Fragile low coming from. Mind your step. Get in there. Get in there. All right, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, one zappity step. And away he goes. Only two more to go. Yay! When's my friggin' union mandated break? Oh, well, mercifully, this one's nice and close. Ah, man. Second verse, same as the first. Not gonna be here for much longer. I hope to go by anyway. We've got a gauntlet to take care of in a bit. And it's usually where people yeah, run into the first nasty difficulty spike of the game. However, we are prepared. Alright, here's the next one. Top her up. Unless it, you know, becomes a Mangled mess on the floor there, like the rest of them. Oh, that one's a bit more peppy in its step. Alright, where's the third one? It should be down in the middle section. There you are. Now, I believe you can repeat this as many times as you want to earn money, but considering how slow this is, it'd be more tactful to just grind enemies, honestly. There's one you can do in particular in Chapter 5 if you're desperate, desperate for money, but... Um, money's not too much of an issue in this game. At least, early on it can be, but after a certain point, nah. Be the same as Earthbound, really. What about the first game in that context? Um, 
I don't even remember. It's been nearly a decade since I last played Mother 1. What can I say? The scores of the Japanese version still sting. Alrighty, here's the last one. Load her up! Get your keister up there. Yep, last one now. And then you and I can take a little uh, happy, happy trip down up to Club Titty Mabu. Get over. Don't get stuck in the bloody corner. Journal, I swear to God. There you go. Ugh, great work. That's enough for today. Don't forget to get your pay from Mr. Brown. He's the guy at the entrance. Yay, thank God for that. Thank God I ain't doing this shit again. Yo, Mr. B, money. Oh, uh, good job today. Here's your reward for a hard day of work. Take it. And here's your pay. Seriously. Seriously. I may nearly triple that. Just killing some snake chicken things out in the forest. Work every day and you can make even more money. Or I can go and scavenge in the forest like a smart person. Work up a good sweat as you strive for your dreams. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. You're still young after all. I sure as fuck don't feel it. Oh, it's going really late. Go relax Club Teddy Boo and have a good time. Good job today. Alright, let's get out of this dump. Yes, it is now night time. Oh, I should probably talk to this dude. Healer! Ah, oh, I'm the friendly item deposit guy. If you have anything you don't need or don't want to carry around, I'll gladly hold on to it for you for free. I'll take great care of any items you give me. And I'll return them to you immediately whenever you want them back. Can I hold on to something for you? So this is basically the replacement for S Cargo Express from Mother 2. Mm. Yeah, may as well get shot of this. Uh, anything else we can pawn off of you? Nope. I'm always traveling from one place to another, so you know, I mean, yeah, you can just let me know anytime. Ah, two new enemies. You snuck up on a Pictunia from behind. Ah, oh, I thought I'd get a 16 out of her. Oh well. And the other one we have here is a Batangatan, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, Batangatan. Apparently that thing was even weaker than the Pictunia. I will have you though. The area map. So, uh, yeah, this area is somewhat sizable, and it's also divvied into unique areas. Uh, the western areas where we're currently heading, the big chunky bit in the center and east, that is chapter 5. Gotcha! Reconstructed mole. That can pit somewhat hard, I guess, but... Well, that damn strong, we'll just one-shot it. You'll love to see it. The roadway leads to Club Titty Boo. Wanna ride up it? Yes, please. Tickets, please. Yeah, everything's in order here. Come on, get on. Place the Gen 3 cutscene when you're going up the um, ski lift and... Uh, what was it called? Mount Ember? Mount Pyra? Something like that. I can never remember that bloody mountain. Binoculars, one DP for a Ah, for a best, let's charge you fucking everything. 
Okay, so we have some sort of warehouse and depot, and immediately next to that, some sort of skyscraper. With something of interest protruding out of the top. Yeah, I know. Bad juju over that way. Hello. There were fireworks inside. Ah. Always still a good present, if you ask me. Anything uh, here of interest that I may or may not remember? Nope. Sweet. Whoa there. I haven't seen you around here before. We don't allow pets inside. Sorry, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Uh, come back some other time. Ah, oh, well, guess they got us. You know, well, we tried. Let's go home. Come on, boy. Be disappointed with Papa. Sick fox. How's it hanging, fellow redneck and beardy guy? Or skinhead, I should say. Whoa, is that guy who had a dog of him just a minute ago? And some dog-like dude. No, there's something fishy about this. Where did that dog from earlier go? Where did this dog-like dude come from? And on top of that, you smell underage. Sorry, I'm a bit of a late bloomer. <laughs> you smell like an underage kid in the dog. Now you mentioned it, this is weird. No suspicious people allowed. That's our rule here. Go on, scram. Get lost, you kid-like guy and dog-like dude. No, I say we pulverize him right here. Oh my, if it isn't the underage smelling poo and the dog smelling woof. I take it you two have been mistaken for an underage kid and the dog yet again? <laughs> What? You know these dudes, Violet? Oh no, I say there's still something not right about these guys. Especially this dog-like dude here. Shake. Don't look away from me. Shake. See? You do know how to shake. <laughs> yeah, I know how to shake, but... This guy is definitely dog like, but well, he seems to get in the dog. But, dude, if by chance you are a dog, you'd be one of the best dogs to ever shake. Yeah. Hello, Spooda. Wonderful. Come in, have lots of fun, and forget about all your worries. Gosh, you must absolutely hate doing this shit. Hey, dude. Have fun. Ooh. Yeah, you're telling me. Do you have anything of interest? Here we are, big city soldiers on sale now at Club Titty Boo. Let's try these at least once. Big city soda, cola, boiga. Oh, I'm gonna get one of these. Yo, what's up? Is this blind? No. I know what we're doing. We're also way over leveled to where we are at this point in the game. Listen, you know, change your expression on your face. I know I'm dressed in this crappy girl outfit, but it's me, Ellie. We met at Sunshine Forest, remember? Look, I'll explain everything later. Put on a smile, will you? Okay, good. Okay, the next DMC song is about to begin. Please go in there and find some empty seats. Uh huh. God help you. Yeah, you're supposed to be around maybe level 15 to 20 at this point. We're level 58. The black beanling is a mutable thing. Magic, but that's a crappy radio station.
Smith. Cool, let's have a quick chin rag. Wow, you're really late. The DMC concert's already over. Everyone's just waiting for the encore now. Tondagaska, in my line of sight, is that girl who's always at the beach. She's staring at me like she really likes me. I'm starting to think I could like her too. Creepy, bloody weirdos. I hope the encore starts soon. Oh, and after each concert, one of the girls here even gives out free DMC pamphlets. Oh, DCMC. See how scary I over there? I thought for sure he was our head honcho, but apparently there are people way, way higher up on the ladder than him. Excuse me, can I talk to you back there? Uh, I've been wondering about it for a while now. But you know Lucky the bass player? That totally has to be a wig. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? You smell like a dog. Like a dog and a kid. This ain't no place for dog smelling kids to come. Time to ask her. In my line of sight is that man who's always at the beach. He's staring at me like he really likes me. I'm starting to think I could like him too. Supposedly there's just one guy who makes the whole world go round. No, actually, I'm not sure if it's a guy or not. I mean, I guess it could be a woman or even a kid. Oh, lucky the bass player definitely looks a lot like Linky. But uh, nah, there's nothing different about him. Can't quite put my finger on it. Can we talk to these two here? Are these front row seats, like, belong to us? Stay away from here, you have some nerve. Ew, you have, like, such a hairy face. <laughs> yeah, and you have such a non-face sprite. The encore won't start if we keep walking around like this. Let's go sit down, okay? Fine by me. Walking like this is exhausting. Yeah, and there's no seats. What kind of venue is this? What would you like to drink, sir? Uh -huh. You want... water? <laughs> oh, hey there, Mark. I just wondered who in the world would order water in a place like this. I mean, come on. Water? <laughs> hey, Violet, baby. One fizzy soda for this here boy. And a big city cola for his dog-like friend. It's all me. Three Thomas, of course. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, number six with extra dip. Certainly, sir. One fizzy soda instead of water and one big city cola coming right up. Please don't tell me she's been at this shithole for three years. Well, I'm afraid to see you here, Mark. Oh, damn, that was quick. Here you are, gentlemen. Shh, listen, but don't change the expression on your face. There's a lot I need to talk to you about after the DCMC conference is over. After it's over, don't leave. Hang out in the lobby. I'll be there to get you. Alright, see you later. You idiot! Don't change your expression! Well, enjoy yourselves. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, Mar, who are you and Violet talking about? I never knew you were such a ladies' man. And I never knew you to be such a freaking corpse. But let's see if we can remedy that, shall we?
I mean, that's fair, Spider. I mean, these dudes are a lot more involved in this game compared to, say, Run Away 5, where, where you only have maybe Sora maybe three times tops. You see this lot a hell of a lot more. Full of soul. Hey. <laughs> How about a DM DCMC pamphlet as a souvenir? Hells yes. The trailer for the 64 DD? Um... I think the music was. Some swag. Oh, yes, sure. The funny thing is, it's an equipable item. But, compared to the good stick, I don't think so. Right. Ah, there you are, my dear. Subtle. Come on, hurry up. It's this way. I could go that way, but I'm going to go this way. I made you look. Ah, RC4000 is now following. Thank you. Ah, so you are. You're right. Open the present. Salt water gun. Ooh, we'll save that for a rainy day. And you. Do we get a sneak attack? Yes, we do. You snuck up on a slimy slug. Let's see if it can survive more than one hit. Survey says no. A uh, bit of a tight fit down here, but thankfully. Yep, that's nice. Yep, set up. That secret passage is handy, but I always get covered in mud every time I use it. Not to mention that sticky junk from all those slugs. I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick, so just relax here. Do you need something? Uh, yes. Do you need to save the game or transfer DP? DP stuff, please. Say, told you I didn't have much on hand. Whoops. There we go. Please be careful. And I suppose I'll save as well, just in case. There we go. That was quick. Some way or another, I'll end up with this fancy room. Anyway, go shower, you two. There's even a hot spring in there, if that's more you think. We can talk afterwards. Uh nah. You're exhausted and dirty, aren't you? A shower will freshen you right up. No. I know you want to hurry and all, but come on, you guys reek. Just go take a shower. Mmm. What rhymes with Poe? I'll give you a hint. No. How about you, doggy? Want me to shampoo you all up? Eh? Just take a damn shower already. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Understandable. After showering, the three conversed at great length, almost as if filling in the three-year gap that had separated them. They discussed the rescued monkey. They discussed the hummingbird egg from Oso Castle and how it went missing. They discussed the fact that one of the DCMC members appears to be an amnesiac linky. After they discussed the mysterious army that had radically transformed Tazmilly Village. God. Ugh, it's not on point today. Oh well. As if assembling the jumbled pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, they told each other what they knew to put their thoughts together. The coming battle will not be easy. This, more than anything, they knew all too well. Well, you wanna be str- Honey, you're level 58. You'll probably be level 59 in like, a next hour or two. Give or take. And yeah, um... That's what Flip was mentioning, RC. You're normally supposed to be around the teens to low 20s at this point in the game. We're in the high 50s on the verge of entering the 60s. Because the game is so generous to give you an enemy at the very beginning of the game that gives you 16,018 experience a pop if you can kill it. And it's very easy to grind. 
Don't think he regains his memory. Don't know what to do about the deck. At this rate, there's no telling when the pigs will get their hands on it. See Linky and try talking to him. Maybe he'll remember something if he sees you two. I mean, Sol's kind of dressed up. I don't think that's really going to help too much. There's guards outside. They're not exactly bad guys, but I don't want to risk making things complicated. So you're one-shotting everything? Oh, yes. Although, only the puzzle's only halfway complete after this session, though. Heh 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 heh. That'll be a completed puzzle. But you're less likely to get caught. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. You'll get the DCMC band members together. I'll need to explain the situation to them, too. I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna... Uh... Hey, you wear something? I don't say nothing, dude. Oh, it's just a dog. There ain't no dogs here, dude. Alright, next up, the major dungeon of Chapter 4. The Attic of Club Tittyboo. Am I so greedy enough to collect things? Would you like to buy some of mine? Sure, what you got? My inventory's full. Absolute junk. Cool. Buy some of yeah, How about you buy some of my shit? <laughs> Get rid of that. Uh, chuck that. Save you. Keep them. Keep them just in case. Major lock. Salt water gone. We need to save that for later. The SSC died after three months of usage. Well, shit quality bloody uh... hard drive then. An attic guide. Great guide. So we started at the bottom left corner. We now need to head for that centre right one. Blue indicates ways we can't go, and the brown ones indicate where we can. Ah, item dude. Just who I was looking for. I've got some junk for you. Get rid of that for now. Get rid of that. Uh, no, we're not going to need that in particular. Good cool. inventory sorted. Yeah, you're behind me 100%. Yada yada yada. Alright, let's mosey on. Oh, new enemy. You snuck up on Arachnid! Four exclamation points. Can it survive more than one hit? Nope. That might be just part of the fun of this challenge. Can enemy survive more than one hit? An antidote! Yay! That's completely useless to us because we have all the healing spells. What about you? You snuck up on a greedier mouse from behind. We also kicked it behind. A bag of big city fries. Okay, cool. Free money and healing, I guess. I see a boss battle. The e kick. That would be Linky's specialty. Oh, maybe it is the. Mm. Okay, so now we need to go up here, I believe. No, that's a dead end, but there is a Prezi. Another antidote. Yay. Oh, another one. Bug spray. Is that even going to be useful in this area? Maybe against the spiders if you're struggling. Oh, I don't mind this track. Very nice piano piece. Oh, wow! We survived more than one here. Holy shit! Yeah, it survived, but it didn't survive a two hit. It's the world's biggest bloody attic. Oh, time to grind again. Well, I'll be doing that after this. Yeah, since I got that done, maybe if we get lucky, he'll show up nice and early. Where do you think you're going, Cupcake? You think... A gently weeping guitar. Now you're a absolutely broken guitar.
Right, should be this way now, and then... Oh, you. You. This enemy sucks. It's not difficult to kill or anything. It does one thing, though, that absolutely annoys me to death. It can change the battle rhythm for your 16-hit combo system. Oh, that would have been a one-hit kill just ran me in, so hit Okay, cool. Sprinting bomb. Eh. Can we squeeze in through here? Yes, we can. Face me, coward. Oh, well. I'll take the small snippets of piano I'll get. Now in here, I believe. Aha, here they are, with a Katatsu and everything. What have you got for me, boy and girl? Some nice stuff was inside. You ate it right there. You felt something warm inside your heart. Oh, another uh, instance of the unused kindness stats. Some rice stuff was inside. You're fully revitalized. Ah, okay. Some nice rice stuff was inside. You ate it right there. Excuse me. Eh? Hey, that's you, Alfie. What you been with the sneak in the dicky bed? Yeah, okay, I've been for years of cracking art. So your grandmam and I have been all chatting you so what, sir? You must have been bleeding and Marvin, eh? Eat some of that bread for you. Why ain't you showing to Gem round them, Bill? Why does that have an accent? I don't know. Ask the translators. It's probably the whole, um, is it Osaka, I think, that has the equivalent of a hillbilly voice in Japan? Or is it somewhere else? Something like that. Oi, Alfie, it's big doggies, Charter. What's to rabbit and some bees, is that it? Eh, uh, that's Calvin. The old pup and used the box, but uh, mam's dead dicky. We've been waiting a bloody long hairy lime all packed with you and uh, your Toblerone. Even though I'm English, I haven't got a fucking clue what they're saying. <laughs> Magic Jellison, cool. Right, how do we get access to that presence? Okay. So if we slip down into this doorway here... Bag of big city fries, okay. Not necessary, but free cash, I suppose. I suppose this could be a low cash run in some degree. As you can plainly see, I am a wooden base. I am still in my prime, but ever since the base below shot up, I have been left to rot in this moldy smelling attic. I am filled with so much frustration. I'm going to turn this frustration into violence and take my stress out on you. You're going to be bawling your eyes out. Oh, is that fucking right? Meet the boss of Chapter 4. The Jealous Base and its cohorts. Get them, boys. So yeah, this is why people can struggle on this boss fight. It's because they can do combo attacks. Most of were so overpowered they will only do like one damage to us, but early game, they could take a good 30 HP off you. Offense increased by 23. <laughs> oh, is that right? Um, I'm just going to do that. If you're going to try and be a little smart ass than me, you can kill yourself. Come on then, son. Oh, cocking Nora. Well, okay, if we're gonna do this. Bump our offense up by mm, 20 to 30, that's not too bad. Oh no, whatever will I do? Oh, 
I'm already asleep, dumbass. <laughs> Got you, sucker. And there you go, he's dead. Hmm, 1,300 experience. Is that even anywhere close to getting us a level? Uh, not right now. Next level, 40,000 experience. Yeah, not even close. <laughs> Gentlemen, lady. What took us so long? Uh jam session. Tondagaska. Who are you? He's the one I was talking about just now, Linky. You two know each other. Linky? It's true I don't even remember my real name, but I've lived my life as lucky for years now. Okay, alright, Lucky. I hate to ask, but could you tell him everything you remember too? Yeah, alright. I can definitely tell that something very important is taking place here. I had absolutely no memory whatsoever before I came to Club Tiddy Boop. Had no idea who I was, where I came from, or where I was going. But for some reason I was clutching a strange egg with great care. I didn't know where I was going, yet I continued to walk desperately. All I knew was that the egg was really important for some reason, so I knew I absolutely had to keep it safe. So I looked for a place to hide it. And then, after walking and walking, I buried the egg inside a big dirt cloud in the valley where I knew no one would ever find it. I still don't know where it is, I haven't forgotten. You go up a cliff near a giant waterfall and... I mean he had a near-death experience in Chapter 2, but eh, he was fine after the first boss. Unknown Valley. That's it! The egg we all work so hard to protect is there. Let's go there right now. But am I really Linky? If I am this Linky person, then that means I'll have to leave the band, right? Linky or Lucky, one of them will cease to exist after today, right? If it turns out I'm Linky, what happens to the DCMC? But if I continue to live as Lucky, then what was that egg thing all about? I'll actually bring this up now. If you do have the foresight to name Duster Lucky, the game will acknowledge this and change his um, amnesiac name here to Gorgeous, I think. All you can do is ask Destiny. Yeah, if Destiny decides, I'll say goodbye to you with a smile on my face. Destiny, huh? Yeah, let's ask Destiny. We have a way. The same way we've always done things when we weren't sure what to do. Stone sheet clippers, huh? Alright, you wanna go? Yep, this Marco will play rock, paper, scissors with all of us. If he beats all five of us in a row, you go. But if he loses even once, you're staying in the DCMC. How's that sound? Five in a row, huh? I'm cool with that. You there, you okay with that, right? I mean, it's rigged in our favour, but yeah, sure. You can start with any one of us. Alright, I'm going to start with, um... Shimmy Zimmy at the back. For the most part, everyone always does a specific first move on playing this game. That explains why Bakio always loses to magic. Ready to go? Sure. Okay, here it goes. Stone sheets clippers. Ayyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyy
My favorite Alex kid. This man gets it. Always wonder if I'm tying when the other player was shimmy. Uh, but that means if you tie. All right, Cupcake, you're next. I'm just going to show these off. If you tie or you lose, the game's like, oops, sorry, do over. So yeah, as I said, it's completely rigged in your favor. You ready? Yep. If you win, Lucky goes with you. If not, he stays in the DCMC. Cool with that? No, I want to trust in Destiny. If it's my destiny to go, then I'm sure he'll win. And if it's not my destiny, he'll lose and I'll stay here. Simple as that. Alright then. Do clippers. I'm going to do sheet. Wow, the game actually gives you the solution. Okay. I guess Lucky probably is the stinky guy after all. Oh, don't worry about anything else at all. I think Linky hit the egg at Unknown Valley, which means I have no reason to stay here anymore. Alright, time to get out of this trashy girl clothes. Go get yourself comfortable. Out of my way, damn it! I haven't even grinded their level up yet, she's already one shot and things. That's a good precipice right there. You were the greatest bass player ever. I'm gonna miss you, man. I hope we meet again someday. I'm sure we will. I didn't even know that line was coming up. That was a lucky guess, Dan. Don't go forgetting the time you spent with us now, you dig? So you say? All right, cool. Welcome back to the fold, my boy. Yeah, let's go. And don't you leave my party ever again. Alrighty. How do you look? Level 17. Wow. Honey, we're going to have to fix you up. <laughs> This is the new wooden base. Well, and now it's a lonely wooden base. I took care of the bodyguards. So I heard. Let's go. Okay, we got a PSI user back. Uh, we can't, because even after you do a battle, the people get revived with at least one HP. And Linky's kind of my physical powerhouse. 17 and 16. Hmm. Alright, um... What PSI abilities do you come with? Just the ones we have from Chapter 2. So that's Life Up Healing Alpha, Fire Thunder Freeze Alpha, and Offense Down Alpha. And I think your maximum PSI level is 60. Okay, doors unlocked. All right, let's blow this popsicle stand. What is it? There's someone on the stage.
And there we go. That was chapter four. Didn't take too long. Oh, don't you worry, we're gonna absolutely curb stomp that tower, but first... Hope these trees don't have the Franklin badges, because we have... Look, I don't know why, the trees aren't gonna have Franklin badges, we have Franklin badges at home. There should be a big hole in the ground straight north of here. I think I went through it and hit the egg somewhere on the other side, so let's head for that area first. You know, we could do that, but I've got a better idea. Well, first of all, indoor fireworks. Well, we will need to grind, but I'll do that upstream just to save everyone some hassle and time. Because I sure as shit don't want to waste people's time sitting on this for four hours. Can we just run into this and kill it? Oh wow, we actually can. Damn. Oh, time to put the controller down for a few minutes. So, there is one thing I can do before I try and show off the black beanling again, because now I know I can absolutely kill it. At this point in time, there is a very small time window where you can do an optional boss encounter. It is extremely hidden out the way, and you can only do it in this chapter, but it is very worthwhile doing so, because one of the ultimate equips, one of your characters, is hidden behind this boss battle. And we're more than ready to go and kick its ass. Yep, completely optional boss. It's not the game super boss. It's just an optional boss. Are you serious? Minky, be a star, would you? Right, where were we before we were oh so rudely interrupted? Don't think about... Well, birds of a feather, die together. Oh, would that be birds of a scale in this case? I will take your egg. That can become a chicken, which means easy money for me. Are we there yet? Don't make me turn this poor party by around sunshine. Get out of here. I will have you soon, my darlings. So, if we want to go and get this boss. When I say it's out the way, I mean it is out the way. I don't think you need to come back to this area at all until maybe chapter 7. But the boss is gone by then, so... I'm going straight back into Oso Castle. Don't need to worry about any of the enemy encounters because they have long since been destroyed. The ghosts are no longer here. However, some of the Chapter 2 enemies are still here past this point. And how does that count as an uh, enemy attack? Oh no, he took out one of my powerhouses. Alright, that's it, your Coco Pops. Oh, 
Hello, frog. Hmm, guess they aren't here anymore. The pseudo doors and the barrel men are, but in here. Well, well, look who's come back for round two. I am Lord Passion. The music I am playing is O to Ancestors, Eighth Movement. Listen thoroughly. Nah, classic music, shite mate. This is what artistic know nothings like you get. So, you remember this fart mucker from Bloody Chapter 2? He's back in red form. Uh, Sol, you can have a quick whiff at him. Smells like a ghost, weak against fire. Okie dokie. Yeah, he wears black, I think, in Chapter 2, but in Chapter 5, he wears red. Other than being slightly stronger, he is pretty much the same. Okay, crank that up. Uh, tickle stick. Right, since you are weak to that, you can have a little taster. Go get him, soul. And now we buff ourselves up. Sent a shoe. Hey! Prick. Now, is there anything else I can set up for this? There's one thing I can do. Refresh. Right now, let's see if he's still vulnerable to the smoke bomb. There you go, you don't normally get refresh until the end of the game, but here we are at the halfway point. So this will give us a small amount of HP every turn. Case in point. Gotcha! Now we can't stop crying, which means his accuracy just went to absolute crap. He says as he hits us for one damage, but then it's one damage. Alright, gang upon the nerd! Ooh, damn, that is a lot of damage. Oh well, we mitigated some of it. God damn, send a candle flying. That was delayed to buggery. Uh, uh, since you two are running on... There we go. Everybody gets a top up. Everybody. Excessive, yes. But can we do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that would have been hilarious if Ellie killed him then, but... Life's not fair. I say deal with it. Oh, game had to chug for a second then to try and determine it. God damn. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Da -da -da. There we go. He's dealt with. Give me what I want. I think he is now level 19, HP by 6, offense, defense, yep, nice, nice, 17, excellent, eh? So what did we want for this? What we wanted was these, the mystical shoes. This is Linky's ultimate offensive equipment item. And hopefully she already have it in his inventory, which he does. And he still has all the items from Chapter 2, God damn it. So if we go to his equip now... His offense right now is 54. Look at that boost! Not only does his offense nearly double, his HP goes up, his IQ goes up, but his speed goes up.
which is nice because that means with those boots alone he's nearly on par with everyone else of power levels. And that's why you come here at the start of chapter 5 to get them nice and early. Any of the other mystical stuff it's either in chapter 7 or it's in past the point of their return in chapter 8 and they're all 3% drops. I'm not going to try and gun it for them but if we get them we get them. Let's pretend, yeah, they're banana shoes, or banana click clogs, there you go. Right, let's try and have our little friend in the forest spawn one more time before we call this short session a session. Because then next time I get to this we can start doing a nice long session we'll get Chapter 5, 6, and maybe half of Chapter 7 if we uh, play our cards right. And then we might, if we're fortunate, we might be able to do Chapter 8 in its entirety. Oh. And now I can't run, because Ellie decided to get a fever, which means she's getting her next PSI ability. Ugh, joy. What are we getting? Because I do not remember. Seriously? Alrighty, your funeral! If this uh, fever could do a disappearing act, there we go. Paralysis Alpha, okay. Uh, is there anywhere that's situationally useful off the top of my head? Uh, nope, didn't get off the first one, but I wasn't expecting it to. Yeah, uh, boy, this could either take five minutes or fifty minutes, depending on our luck. And things like this don't help. Get up there. Give me another egg, I'll appreciate it. Okay, no egg for me. Yeah, yeah, it is. Nope, hasn't spawned yet. Uh, nothing again. Nope. Uh, sometimes I can daisy chain them, and sometimes they just don't show up at all. I do not know what it damages. There is one other optional boss I can think of that you normally can't kill. I don't know how the game will react if we do somehow find a way to kill it. Because well, you are supposed to die to it. Some people might know what I'm referring to, but for those that don't, oh, you just have to wait and see, aren't you? Bloody sliver hands. Get out of here. Just one black beanling. Give it to me. It's not a cornetto, but I'll take it. God, what even were those bloody adverts back in the day? Hmm. Do the Kansas Sherry Shuffle, yeah. yeah. Sometimes that works. Uh, come on. There you are. Right, it'll dig underground. And now we lie in patience and wait. There it is. Walk up to it, don't run into it. Here is where we're going to break the game. If you're on the low level like this, just spam your signature attack three times if you can help it. If you're at this point in the game, go whole hog. There 
There you go. It's only got about 300 HP. That thing can still easily kill you if you're at low level again. Now, why would we do this? Look at the amount of experience we just got from that. Ain't it beautiful? So, Linky and Ellie were in the teens, yeah? Now they're in the high 20s. HP by 36, offense by 13, defense 6, IQ 4, speed by 6. Ooh, very nice. Ellie went to 26, HP by 42, PP by 39. And that's how you break this game over your damn knee. Just do that over and over again for a, an hour or two. Oh, honey, even with all of our mad leveling up, the final boss can still be a challenge. Because that's not about power, that's about endurance. Alright, since I know you're going to get a fever. So, I guess where I'm going to spend my evening for the next hour or two off stream. <laughs> there you go. I hear a clucking, which means we've got another chicken, which means extra moolah. And yeah, if you think you can use this uh, trick to grind money, unfortunately that won't be the case. The black beanling does not drop any form of DP. But we are in a chapter where we can find this game's equivalent of a gold slime, are those a thing? I know you got metal slimes for experience in Dragon Quest, but I don't know if there's like a money equivalent. Alright, so what did we get? Fire Beta, Hypnosis Alpha, Brain Shock Alpha, Defense Down Alpha. And that was just off of one hit with the Black Bean Link. Thankfully, Mark and Sol won't get any, any many more levels because of this, because their XP requirements are ridiculously high now. But uh, yeah, that'll do for this short, uh, short session for tonight, I think. So next time... Everything will be in place, and we're going to steamroll right through the rest of this game. It might have maybe two or three sessions left in it. If a push, we can knock it down to two. Okay. Let's see if there's anyone we can raid. Oh, well, look at that. I think we have someone. What are they doing? Oh, they're doing Simpsons Hit and Run. Oh, well, why don't we go visit one of our uh, little characters, shall we? I'm sure they would appreciate the... Uh... Extra bump. Alright, this might take like a minute or two to kick off because raids for some reason on my end are stupidly slow. Alrighty, until then, I'll see you in a little bit.